which is best for you. Today we're going to do a head-to-head -head analysis of each and we're going to try to determine what may suit your situation the best. It's a little windy outside today so for recording purposes we're going to go inside. Come along. In many ways, goats and sheep are very similar. They're both classified as small ruminants, which means their digestive systems work in the same way. Both have the same gestation periods, uh, 150 days or about five months from the time that they breed till the time that they lamb or they kid. Both roughly have about the same lifespan, 10 to 14 years. And both are susceptible to many of the same illnesses because they are so similar species uh, you'll have a lot of the same diseases and so forth that uh, one has, the other will have also. But there are some notable differences uh, between them also. So let's just go through and look at some of the different characteristics and how each animal ranks and maybe which would be better for your particular situation. When it comes to cost, really both are going to be very similar. Goats are probably, at least at the current market, goats are a little bit more expensive per head than sheep are. But as far as regular upkeep, feed, fencing, shelter, all of those type of things, they're going to be very similar. There's not really enough difference to, to sway one one way or the other. Now there is some difference in the habitat that each prefer. Goats prefer browse. They prefer saplings and briar thickets and hedge bushes. They want to be able to reach up and to, to, to eat leaves off of limbs. If you've ever noticed, you'll see goats and they'll walk right across knee-high grass to go find a limb that's hanging down somewhere so they can eat the leaves off of it. And so they are definitely browsers. And so if you have property that has cut over on it, that has a lot of uh, briar thickets or hedge bushes, fence rows that you want to clear out, Goats are probably the preferred animal under those conditions. Sheep prefer grass. They're exact opposite of goats in that they're going to start eating on the grass first. When the grass is gone, then they'll start working on the browse. They'll eat browse, but it's not what they prefer, and it's not what they do best on. And so this may be something that would uh, help you decide what, which may be better for you. If you have a lot, of, a lot of browse on your property, then goats are probably the way to go. If you have pasture, then uh, sheep may be the, the better option there. However, I will say both do okay on pasture and both will survive on browse, but they do have preferences. When it comes to containment, there is a difference between goats and sheep. Goats are pretty good escape artists. They're curious. They're always wanting to know what's on the other side of the fence, and they're always trying to find a hole in the fence to get out. And so it can be challenging to keep goats in. If you build good fences, even using variety of materials, whether net wiring or electrified, you can successfully keep goats in. You can see the video that I have on the best fencing for goats and sheep. But sheep are much easier to keep in. You don't have to have near as good of fences to keep sheep in. Now you still want good fences to keep predators out, but sheep are much more likely to respect electric fences. Even if it's turned off, they'll continue to respect it. And so when it comes to the containment, sheep are certainly easier than goats in containing, but both can be contained with good fencing. Regarding shelter, goats really do need shelter. They need to be out of the wind, they need to be out of the rain, particularly in the wintertime. And you can tell that they need it because as soon as it starts to sprinkle, they'll run for the barn. Sheep, on the other hand, stay out in the elements most of the time. Now, I live in the south. I live in northwest Alabama, and rarely do my sheep ever even go in the barn. In the coldest nights of winter, they'll sometimes go in the barn. If it's a torrential downpour, a bad thunderstorm, sometimes they'll go in the barn. But most of the time, they'll just stand out in the rain and graze, and they do well in the cold. And so they don't need a lot of shelter, at least not in my area. I'm sure if you live further north that that would probably be a necessity. But in the south, sheep don't require shelter. Goats do require shelter. There is a difference in the general hardiness of the animal. Goats are fairly fragile animals. You know, I think people have the idea that goats are just real survivors 
and uh, maybe wild mountain goats are, but domesticated goats, at least in my experience, have been pretty fragile. They are much more prone to parasites, which we'll talk about in just a second, but then also just to, to various sicknesses and illnesses. As we were talking about with the shelter, they need shelter. You leave them out in the wind and the rain in the wintertime, and they're probably going to get sick. In my experience, sheep are much hardier. Uh, they seem to be able to deal with whatever illnesses. They may get the same illnesses as a goat, and it'll kill a goat, and sheep uh, survive and do okay with it. So as far as general health, I would have to give the nod to sheep as being hardier than goats. Parasites are probably your number one problem with both goats and sheep, and goats particularly are susceptible to it. Part of that has to do with the type of goats that we have mostly in the United States now. Back a number of years ago, boar goats, because of their good quality meat and how they grow off, were imported from South Africa and New Zealand, brought in, and a lot of the meat goats that we have in the United States now are boar crosses or boar. And boar goats thrive in dry climates like Australia and South Africa and New Zealand, they don't do as well in the southeast United States where we have pretty high parasite loads. And so parasites are something that goats struggle with. You have to really watch them. You have to often chemically deworm them and use some good management practices. Sheep are also susceptible to parasites. Number one problem for sheep too, but I would say they're much hardier than goats when it comes to parasite resistance. So you have to watch them, but not quite as closely. They're not quite as high maintenance regarding parasites as goats are. Both goats and sheep require a little bit of maintenance when it comes to foot health. Both need their feet trimmed, and both are susceptible to some foot problems. Uh, you can check out a video that I have on trimming feet and some of the more common foot problems that they have. Goats do a little bit better than sheep on this, maybe because they like to climb on things, particularly rocks and so forth, and they wear down that outer nail. And so they kind of trim their own feet in some way, but still usually you need to trim their feet about once a year. Sheep, on the other hand, require a little bit more maintenance, maybe because they like to stand in the more moist areas of the field where the grass is lusher, but you usually have to trim sheep feet a little bit more, and you also probably have a little bit more foot problems with sheep. So in this area, I would probably give the nod to goats as having better foot health than sheep. There is a notable difference in the personality of each animal, and I suppose that this will be a, a lot of my opinion. Goats have a lot of personality. They are more curious, they're more mischievous, they're more personable in a lot of ways, much more independent. All of that can be good or it can be bad, depending on your point of view. Sheep, on the other hand, are not quite as independent. They're going to, uh, you kind of have, um, you know more what to expect with sheep. They don't have quite as much personality. Some people like that, some people don't. So I would say this, as far as, as making a pet out of them, both make very good pets. You're going to have a lot more uh, adventures with goats than you do with sheep. Some people would say problems, but uh, it depends on your point of view on that. But goats have a lot more personality, sheep not as much. If you're getting into goats and sheep for profitability, I would say that both are probably equally profitable. Now, when it comes time to sell, at least at the current market, goats are selling a little bit better. Certainly per pound, they're selling much better than sheep. However, because goats are a little bit more fragile, you're going to have more losses. You're going to, uh, you're going to have a little bit more expense maybe in, in medicine and so forth. When it's all said and done, in my experience, goats and sheep are about equally profitable all the way around. I think goats are more difficult to raise overall than sheep, but they bring a little bit more when it comes time to sell as well. So it kind of levels out where both are pretty much equally profitable. If you still can't decide which may be best for you, try a few of each. Give it a little time, see which characteristics of each breed fit your property and your management practices the best. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it to be helpful, please like, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel. And if you're within the Northwest Alabama area and you need goats or sheep, give me a call, see what I have available at the time. And as always, happy farming.